So we're given two terms in a geometric sequence, and we're asked to find the first term, a sub 1, and r. Let's go ahead and do it. So the trick is to first find r using a sub 2 and a sub 7. So a sub 7 is equal to a sub 2. And how many times do we have to multiply a sub 2 by r in order to get to a sub 7? Well, five times, or we, rather we need five copies of r. That's a trick, you can always do that. For example, if you have a sub 11, you can write that as r to the fourth times a sub 7. If you have a sub 15, you can write that as r squared times a sub 13. Notice 4 plus 7 is 11. 2 plus 13 is 15. Always works super powerful. 5 plus 2 is 7. a sub 7 is negative 192. r, we don't know what that is, so we have r to the fifth. And a sub 2 is negative 6. Divide both sides by negative 6. That gives us r to the fifth equals 32. When we take the fifth root of both sides of this equation, we end up with r equal to 2. So we have r. So again, the key is this first equation here. That's the most powerful thing uh, we have. Now we need to find a sub 1. So we can use either a sub 2 or a sub 7. Let's use a sub 2. So a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1. And to get from a sub from a sub 1 to a sub 2, we just need one copy of r. a sub 2 is negative 6. r was 2. And a sub 1, we don't know what that is. To finish, divide by 2. And that gives us a sub 1 is equal to negative 3. And that's it. I hope this helps.